honor of coaching David Hall at the University of Texas, my very first year there. He was a sophomore, started at third base. And I want to tell you the kind of team player he was. He played third base well enough and hit very well that I had no plans to ever change. The next year, I recruited a guy from Dallas who was an outstanding third baseman and played him in the left field and continued to play David third base. That new guy's name was David Shaw. After that year, when we started David's senior year, they had played together in Dallas on a summer team. David came to me and he said, Coach, Chalk's way better at third than I am. Why don't you put him at third and let me play right field? So we did that. And it helped our ball club. And David did well in right field. And Chalk went on to a 10-year major league career. But that shows you the type of team player that David all was. And I was so proud of his career here at Rice. He broke my heart when he passed away. But it's a privilege for me to be here with you today. Thank you. Uh, great opportunity. Uh, I'd like to thank you know the uh, RBI Club for putting this together. And uh, you know we were talking about it. it's been 25 years uh, since my year, and uh, so it's a great opportunity to uh, you know reconnect with old teammates and uh, catch up with folks because you know everybody gets on with their life and goes in different directions, and uh, sometimes you need that uh, gel, so to speak, to get pay, uh, people back together and uh, you know just get them talking and, and reconnected. You know the goal when the players came in. It was always lead the program better than when he found it. And that was one of the things that Coach Hall had stressed. And he left it up to us to decide what that exactly meant. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been special and, and very rewarding to see the program uh, you know, grow to the levels that it is right now, knowing that you, know, you contributed your part you know, in that fact that, hey, you know, I want to leave this place a little bit better than when I found it. And yeah, it's just been special to see you know, Rice getting the first championship of any sport in 2003 and, uh, and then continue on as a top level, top tier program to where you know, I can travel around the country, and I do, right? And um, you know, you talk to folks who say you played at Rice and Rice Baseball, you know, and their face kind of lights up, you know, and they want to talk and ask questions about it and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's been, uh, that's been really neat. That uh, kind of put everything in perspective about, you know, Southwest Conference baseball, who Coach Hall was, the, you know, the level of baseball that we played, um, you know, in the Southwest Conference. And uh, yeah, that, that was definitely a surprise and uh, unexpected, uh, but it, it, was, it was a really a, a good surprise, great surprise. And um, for him to kind of put things in perspective on how you know, he knew Coach Hall and how Coach Hall contributed to the Texas program and then what Coach Hall meant to Rice. So uh, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a special thing. We haven't really gotten together before last year. We did a fishing trip, but this is kind of a you know a group of guys that uh, you know some of them weren't able to go on the fishing trip. So really neat to be able to come back here and see what they've done here and see how the program's expanded since uh, David did what he did with the program. And then uh, you know they've taken it to the next level, and uh, it's really nice to be a part of it. Really good to see Deborah and Wendy. Um, you know this thing is really about David uh, and David's contribution to this program, um, and to see Gus come back. Um, you know, see both of them in tears is pretty special. You know, I knew he and David had a pretty good bond. You know, I think Gus had that kind of bond with all of his players, uh, but, but the relationship between him and David were pretty special. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a sheer accident that he was here today, but uh, somebody somewhere got him here. And, uh, pretty neat. Right, so now I'm not going to warm up and do exactly like Don Spivey taught me. I'm going to put a little spit on it and let it fly.